Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. Well, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Welcome, and we thank you for joining us for today's program. Praise the name of God. This is a program brought to you by Dudley Smith Ministries, and I'm Evangelist Dudley Smith, your host. I know you're going to be blessed by the music today and encouraged and edified and touched by the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. And at the end of our program, we're going to be praying a special prayer of faith just for you. So stay right there. We're going to get started with all of this right after this message. We are so excited to bring to you our brand new music DVDs, Praises Volume 1 and Praises Volume 2. Now who doesn't enjoy a good music DVD? We are so sure you will enjoy this anointed music by Evangelist Dudley Smith. Now go to our website at www.dudleysmith.net and click on the DSM Bookstore tab. Order your copies today. There's a blessing headed your way.
fountain filled with blood flowed from Emmanuel's vein. Aren't you glad about the blood of Jesus? Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Because we need that blood applied to our life to redeem us and to atone for our sin. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. I pray, God, you are doing well today. Hallelujah. And that you are blessed in the Lord. And if you're not blessed yet, hold on. You're about to get blessed. Hallelujah. God's got something great for you today. Hallelujah to God. We've been talking about godliness. In fact, we just started a series on our last program about godliness. And we're continuing today. Praise the name of Jesus to talk about godliness. Because we don't talk about that a lot. We don't talk about that kind of thing in our Christian circles anymore. Praise God. You hear a lot about relevance, but you don't hear a whole lot about godliness. And I believe that godliness is about the most relevant thing you can do. It's about the most relevant thing that you can be. Bless the name of God. Now, we've got to remember what godliness is. Godliness is a, a devout desire to please God. It's a desire to please God. Hallelujah. It's a desire to walk before him uh, holy and upright. Praise the name of of God in everything you do and everything you say and everything you are and everything you want to be. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah to God. I want to cover two points today, if I may, concerning godliness. Hallelujah to God. Over in John chapter 8, verse uh, 29, I believe. Hallelujah to God. We have a very interesting uh, insight into uh, what, what uh, godliness is and where it takes us. Praise the name of God. You know, walking after the Lord take you in places that walking after the flesh will not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Never in a million years when I was young, I thought I'd be an evangelist. Praise God. I'd be a singer, a gospel singer, singing before literally millions of people. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. But walking a godly life and letting God bless my life as I bless him, praise God, has taken me uh, in this path. And you know what? I'm glad, I'm glad it did. Hallelujah to God. I was called to preach when I was 17 years old, and I ran from God until I was uh, 26. Praise God. I ran from the call uh, to minister the gospel. Praise God. Because I saw how hard my grandfather had to work in ministry. And I thought, oh, Lord, no part of that. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. But you know when your steps are ordered of the Lord, sometimes you just don't have a say in that. Hallelujah to God. Here I am doing this very thing <laughs> that I thought I'd never uh, would do. Praise the name of God. But you know something? I'm glad about it. Hallelujah. Because it has helped me, glory to God, to stay focused and to live the kind of life that I should live. Praise the name of of God, hallelujah. Over in John chapter 8, verse 29, uh, here's what the word says uh, concerning pleasing God. And he, and he says this, And he that uh, sent me is with me, the Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Hallelujah. Jesus is talking here, praise the name of God, and he made two statements here that I thought was, would, would, would stand out. Number one, that God has not left him. That God has not left him. You know, he said that uh, 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 he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. He hasn't left us, particularly when we are focused on doing the things that please God. I'm going to ask you this question. You can get mad at me. Send me a note. Send me a note. Uh, uh, chat me up. Uh, uh, email. Uh, uh, whatever you want to do. Praise the name of God. But have you done everything to please God? Have you done everything to really please God? You know, uh, I, I, you, you don't have to answer that, but just think about it for a minute. Praise God. We have all come short of the glory of God. We have all made mistakes. We have all done some things, uh, 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 deplorable things. Glory to God. That, 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 that was not pleasing to the Lord, yet God, who is great and kind in, in his mercy and his grace, hallelujah to God, hath applied the blood, glory to God, and washed our sins away. Praise the name of God, hallelujah to God. When you think about, hallelujah, how God keeps forgiving you and he keeps blessing you, you should, you should get a mind to say, you know something, I want to please God. 
I want to please him in everything, everything that I do and everything uh, uh, that he's given me to do. I want to be pleasing to him. Hallelujah to God. I want to do that which is right in the sight of God. You know, that, that's a godly mindset. Hallelujah to God. That says this, that whenever I decide to do something, I'm going to do something, glory to God, the first thing we want to do is ask the question, does this please God? Does this please God? And, and what I'm doing now, does that please God? You ask yourself the question because uh, uh, you don't want to do anything, glory to God, uh, that is contrary uh, to a godly lifestyle. Praise God. To godliness and how you walk out godliness in your life. We got to get uh, 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 back down uh, to brass tacks, to business, as they say with God, and our own lives. If we're going to be Christians, let's be Christians. If we're going to be the church, let's be the church of the living God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's be the church that Christ is coming back for. Glory to God. Let's bless him with everything that is within us. Uh, 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 let our life give him glory. Our life give him glory. Our life be a life of praise. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please the Lord in everything that we do. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Uh, uh, Jesus had a focus to please God, and he was showing us that we can please God also. Our heart is to be this, that we please God rather than pleasing man. A lot of folk want to please man. Nobody wants to please God. Sometimes pleasing God will separate you from your friends and from your family. Sometimes pleasing God will cause you to walk a road nobody else wants to go. And it's okay. Praise the name of Jesus because everybody can't walk where you walk. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Sometimes pleasing God, hallelujah, puts you in a whole new category. Hallelujah from everybody else. Bless the name of God. Not that you're better than anybody else. Glory to God. But that your walk with God, hallelujah, is more focused. Praise the name, name of God. I often heard Jesus say this. I must be about the Father's business. Are we about the Father's business today? Are you about the Father's business? Hallelujah to God. Whatever your call is in this life. Are you about the Father's business? Or are you wasting time, glory to God, looking for fame and fortune and, and, and fans? <laughs> Throw that one in there. Hallelujah to God. Are you, are, are you wasting time uh, uh, trying to pump up yourself and promote your own self and to uh, promote your own, to market your own brand, uh, so to speak? Praise the name of God. Uh, are you doing what pleases God? You know, this, some, some, this is something that I've found out. Hallelujah to God. Uh, as long as I've been in ministry, that sometimes what you do to please God will cause others to hate you. They will separate themselves from you. They will talk about you. They will put you down and look down their nose at you. Their friends will walk away. A family will turn their back on you. Glory to God. But you know what? Hallelujah to God. I'd rather follow Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. And be disdained by men than to follow the world. Glory to God. And wind up in a devil's hell. Are you hearing me? Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. In Galatians chapter uh, 1 verse 10. Uh, here's something that the word of God gives us. And we're going to look at this for a minute. Galatians 1 10. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of of Christ. Now, did you hear that? If I please man, then I'm not being a servant of Christ. I'm not being a servant of the Lord because I'm pleasing man. You know, there are those influences in your life that they, they, they come and, and, and they, uh, they, 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 they influence you to go another way. Excuse me, I'll get it out in a minute. Glory to God. They persuade you to go another way. But glory to God, Paul said it this way. Hallelujah, that if I please man, I should not uh, uh, be the servant of God. Now, how many of you consider yourself a servant of the living God? Do you consider yourself a servant of God Almighty? You know, I'm a servant of the Lord. Hallelujah, I'm a child of the King and, 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 and all of that. Praise the name of God. Glory to God. Now, look at your life. What do you do more? Do you please man more than you do God? Or do you please God more than you do man? One defines the other. Are you hearing me? Praise the name of God. One's define your 
a, a stand with God. I want to be, and I know I'm called to be a servant of God. You are called. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, you're in the ministry or anything like that. You are called uh, uh, out of darkness into a marvelous light to be the servant of Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. To be the servant of the living God. And, it, and, and, and the only way to do that is to please him, to, to walk with him. Praise the name of God. Do the things that he say. Glory to God. Jesus said, why well, call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say. Hallelujah to God. This is something about godliness. Hallelujah. When you walk a godly and you live a godly life, it will cause you, praise the name of God, to be truthful. It will cause you to be honest. Hallelujah to God. With yourself. Praise the name of Jesus. It'll cause you to be faithful. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. It will cause you to focus on what God is pleased in. Let our lives be pleased with God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Here's another scripture that speaks to that over in First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 1. And it says this, Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as ye have received of us, how ye ought to walk and please God, so ye would uh, 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 abound more and more. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Who doesn't like more? <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of Jesus. It's like that commercial uh, on television that uh, one person says to, you, to the other, I switched and got more. Hallelujah to God. Switch to Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Live godly and get more. That's what the word is saying. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Abounding in godliness. Hallelujah to God. Abounding in godliness. Glory to God. It brings an abundance uh, uh, that we would abound, hallelujah, more and more. We'll grow more and more. Well, I just can't seem to get over this, and I just can't seem to get over that. You know something? Sometimes it doesn't happen right away, but you got to keep going. you got to keep pressing. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Paul said it this way. I count not myself to have apprehended, but the one thing I do, I forget what's behind me, and I reach for the things that are before me. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You've got to keep on running. You've got to keep on walking. Are you hearing me? Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. To abound more and more and more. Hallelujah to God. In my heart, I want to be more of a Christian. In my life, I want to be more of a child of God. Hallelujah to God. In my life, I want to walk more and more after the things of God and be a godly individual. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. And I guarantee you, anybody going to mess with you either. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. They'll leave you alone. Hallelujah to God. The devil will be afraid of you. Oh, uh, that, that's a praying person there. That's a, that, oh, they believe God. Hallelujah to God. You'll have victory in your life when you're abounding in the things of God. And they're, they're becoming a, 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 a more uh, taking a more of a prominent place in your life and in your heart. You are bound, hallelujah, in, uh, in the things of God. What has happened today that we want to abound in material things. We want to have what, uh, 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 what material life can offer, and we want it in abundance. We want it in abundance. You ever heard this saying? I know you have, but people have said, man, if I had a million dollars, like a million dollars is going to solve your problem. A million dollars won't solve nothing. You, if you get a million dollars, you're going to have a million responsibilities. Praise God. You're going to be worried about how to keep it, how to keep it from being stolen, how to keep from being ripped off. You're going to, you're going to be up at night or worrying about all of that. You're going to be worrying about how to spend it, what to spend it on. Glory to God. It, 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 a million dollars is, is not, is not going to make you happy, and it certainly won't make you godly. Now, does that mean we got to be poor and destitute? Doesn't mean that at all. Hallelujah to God. But when godliness is in place, praise God, we handle what God gives us and what he blesses us with, with much responsibility, giving him the glory and all the praise for all that he's done for us. Do you have praise for him today for what he's done for you and how he has blessed you? Praise the name of God. Look at you. Hallelujah to God. You're not in some third world somewhere, you know, living in that thatch hut. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. But God has blessed you. Praise the name of Jesus. You got food to eat. You got clothes on your back. You got a roof over your head. Yes, you do. Hallelujah to God. So uh, uh, we should want to bless God. Thank him. Give him glory. Glorify his name for all the good things that he has done for us. Are you getting this? Praise the name of Jesus. Living godly then is profitable. Glory to God. It is necessary. Godliness is necessary to be a true Christian. You hear what I say? Godliness is necessary to really live a Christian life. You can't do it without godliness. Duh. Praise the name of Jesus. We are called unto godliness. Bless the name of God. Glory to God. Godliness is also this. Profitable. It is profitable, the word says, for, of, for all things. Hallelujah. Now, over in uh, first, uh, 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 Timothy, I believe it is, uh, uh, verse, uh, uh, chapter 4, verse 7 uh, and 8, I believe. Let's read that. Praise God. And then First Timothy 6 and, uh, and 6. But First Timothy 4, 4, 7 and 8. But refuse uh, profane and old wives' fables. Exercise thyself rather unto godliness. Hallelujah to God. For bodily exercise profited little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having a promise of the, uh, of the life that is now and of that which is to come. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. Exercise thyself unto godliness. Do those things that... Uh, 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 reflect a godly lifestyle. Hallelujah to God. Do those things that reflect God as the Lord of your life. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of God. Exercise it. Walk it out. Praise God. Make it, make, make it a part of your life every day, every day, every day, and every decision. Make it a part of your life. This is what you want to do. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. The Bible says, he goes on to say, hallelujah to God, that uh, godliness is profitable unto all things. It is profitable. Hallelujah to God. It helps you make the right decision. And when you make the right decision, things are going to work out right. Hallelujah. They, that, they, that those decisions will be profitable. Praise the name of God. To have a godly heart, to have a godly mindset, it's profitable for all things. How much do you rely on the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into all truths and bring all things to your remembrance? Hallelujah to God. When you do that, the Holy Spirit is not going to lead you astray. He's going to lead you in the way of godliness. Praise the name of Jesus. He's going to lead you in the way of godliness. You know, the Bible tells us over in Matthew 6, 6, I'm sorry, 6:33. glory to God, uh, that first seek ye the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and then all these things will be added. Hallelujah to God. When you go the way that the Holy Spirit is leading you, and he's leading you into godliness, hallelujah, by way of the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. What is right with God? God's rightness in your life. I want to be godly. Do you want to be godly? Hallelujah. You want to, do you want to step up your game, so to speak? Hallelujah. And be godly and become a godly individual and walk the way that God wants you to walk and talk the way and God wants you to talk. Hallelujah. Believe God with all your heart, soul, and might. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Trust God. Praise the name of God with all things in your life. Do nothing, glory to God, to displease him. Praise the name of God. Just stand right before the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Stand in righteousness. Just walk upright before the Lord. This it should be the desire of our heart. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I want to do more. I want to live right. I want to sing right. I want to preach right. Hallelujah. I want to have a right. You know, and if I'm right with God, then I can be right with you. Oh, come on, somebody. If I'm right with God, I can be right with you. Hallelujah. But I got to be right with God. Hallelujah. I don't want to be hypocritical in my stance. Glory to God. Our prayer today, hallelujah, God, help us to gain more and more godliness. And I like that you will be well pleased with us. Hallelujah to God, Lord. Help us by your Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us, God. Hallelujah to God. Because we want to stand right in your eyes. Glory to God. 
Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm glad you joined us today. And I pray, God, that this is blessing you. Praise the name of Jesus and encouraging you to come up to, come up to another standard. Hallelujah. And you'll walk with God. We love you. Praise the name of God. I tell you what, come back and be with us again. We got more of this to come. God bless you. We'll see you again. Well, bless the Lord. Our time is coming and gone for this particular program. We want to take a moment to pray the prayer of faith just for you. Jesus is ready to meet your need. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray right now, God, Lord, that you bless your people, Father. Somebody needs a healing in their body. Touch them right now in, in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs deliverance, Father, in their life. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for doing these things. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for being a part of the program today. Praise God. And if this program has been a blessing to you in any way, we'd like to hear from you. You can email us at dudleysmith at bellsouth.net. That's dudleysmith at bellsouth.net. You can also write our ministry at Dudley Smith Ministries, P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 275. That's P.O. Box 11239, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27532. Now remember that any pr uh, of the product that we advertise on our program can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmith.net. Now I look forward to seeing you again on another edition of The Abiding Word. God bless. Hi, this is Linda Smith. For great gospel music by Evangelist Dudley Smith, go to www.dudleysmith.net. Click on the Song of the Week tab and you'll see the link to our radio station. You'll also hear music by artists like The Craft Family, The Tallies, Dottie Rambo, Janet Paschal, yes, Dudley Smith, and many, many more. This is Christian Radio at its best. This radio station is on 24 hours a day. So hurry, come on over and start listening now. You'll be glad you did.